Rogue Tear, we still winning. Magic Card, oh, we extending. Dark Law, he's still contending. So Yugi peoples, welcome to the commentary. This right here is, you know, the tournament that ended up getting cut short, you know, due to that <laughs> videos ended up getting cut short and stuff too. So, but this is one of my matches that I played in and it actually turned out to, if you can look at his extra deck sleeves over there, it turns out to be a hero mirror match. So, yeah, I won the dice roll. I ended up going first. We're going to start off with emergency call to go get our boy Stratos. And, you know, we're going to go ahead and activate Stratos effect. And he gets impermed like he quite often does. But we trying out that in shuffle today. So we're going to go ahead and in shuffle that back into the deck, you know. And on another note here, I did not know that card had a draw effect. So, yeah, it's actually like a little bit better than what I thought it was. So we're going to end shuffle there. We're going to bring out our boy Shadow Mist. Go get Shadow Mist effect to go get the mass change. So now, you know, um, I think we pretty much both know that we were on heroes. And I know that like against most decks, just like against heroes, you know, Dark Law is definitely a really good card in a standby phase i'm gonna go ahead and activate mass change to go ahead and bring out dark law that way you know if we do go into main phase there's no pitching for fairy shenanigans and um also i don't get hit with a triple tactics talent too early and we're gonna use that shadow miss effect to go get that boy liquid soldier there because um you know, my face down card is actually a pretty good card. And we're going to wait to see what he's going to do here as he's thinking about his options, as people so often do when Dark Law is on the board, you know, trying to figure out the best way to get around it. Now, I know the guy, he's a um sort of a little bit of a newish hero player. You know, he's still getting used to the deck and he's going to start off with a hero lives there which should probably be banished, but typically, you know, against hero decks, I don't typically really care too much about them banishing the spell cards because I don't think they're going to, you know, really be getting them back anyway. But he's going to go search out for that boy Honest Neos, and, you know, in a lot of situations, I just let it go because, like I said, I'm so scared of triple tactics talents instead I wouldn't even use his um, banish effect, but we have to because the Stratos with Honest Neos would just be able to talk, attack over our boy Dark Law. So we're going to go ahead and use the banish effect and we hit the mass change, which is not too, too bad. I guess it keeps me from um, maybe getting hit with a Dark Law. And now, you know, I'm pretty sure he's trying to decide if there's something else he can go for. And he's going to attack with Stratos and going to explain a couple of things to him in this situation about activating honest neos during the damage step but either way we're going to summon out our boy spirit of neos grab that instant contact right there i love this card like this card has been like clutch in so many um so many games and actually like one of my games i ended up winning like in time not necessarily because of spirit of neos but he was definitely there to help me win in time by not being not having to take any damage so with the help of honest neos the stratos will attack over my boy dark law and now he is free from the Dark Laws Banish effect. Hits me with the Fusion Destiny. I miss running that card sometimes, though I don't really miss Mally and Denier too much. I do miss that one card right there. It was so amazing. So now DPE hits the board. And of course, he's going to start doing Destiny Hero stuff here. Remove the Mally to Special Summon the Mally. And, you know, of course, right here, we're going to drop the Cross Crusader. As he tries to decide and figure out what's his best plan of action here. The Mali and the Stratos, of course, go into Cross Crusader. Cross Crusader effect in order to special summon a monster. And I'm thinking because my face down card is super poly and I'd rather him just go ahead and get the special summon effect first. He's going to special summon Mali. And right here on resolution, I'm going to go ahead and flip the super poly. We're going to hit the Mali 
and the DPE by discarding the instant contact to bring out our boy Draco Stapelia. That way, if when he goes to, you know, bring back this denier like he does, we can go ahead and use the Draco's effect in order to um, in order to what you call it. We can use the Draco Stapelia's effect in order to negate the Cross Crusader effect. So now he's asking about the, you know, about the effect of him he tries to do that and we're gonna go ahead and do that like i think like the main reason why i wanted to negate the cross crusader is because i really don't want him to drop the plasma on me <laughs> so now when he goes denier effect we're gonna go ahead and negate with the draco sapelia and since he had put mally on the board i kind of had already thought that he had the had the plasma in hand but really he just didn't want to draw the um the mally which is probably like a really really good idea so on our turn we're gonna drop our boy liquid soldier we're gonna use his effect to go ahead and grab that shadow mist and i think pretty much here we're gonna have enough to go ahead and just game him from this point <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and switch that boy spirit of Neos into attack position because he activated the hero lives. He's only got like a 4k life points. We're going to enter the battle phase here. Attack with shadow miss attack with graceful charity attack with Draco Stapelia. Cause he's already used his honest Neos. I'm not really concerned about that attack with spirit of Neos. And then of course mass change our shadow miss into our other dark law and my opponent just scoops it up because that is more than enough damage to finish him off and now going into game two my opponent actually decides to let me go first which is quite interesting so i'm like thinking inside of my head dang i sided in for going second and yeah so i figured he's probably got like some lightning storms some dark rulers and stuff so trying to weigh out my best option of like what i want to do because i'm pretty sure my board is going to get wiped here <laughs> so i don't really want to waste too many resources but i do want to go ahead and get my make sure that i get my spirit of neos to protect me because you know i end up getting super poly board wipe and all that stuff so yeah i don't really want to commit too much to the board get regekied or dark hole there's just like so many things that can just completely ruin my life <laughs> so spirit of neos is a lifesaver we're gonna go ahead of course special summon our boy stratos to get him down we're going to use the shade brigadine and we're gonna go ahead and make babuska and we're just gonna simply end there and hope that babuska you know just kind of puts in a little bit of work here maybe he can protect us and if he doesn't we got the spirit of neos to you know help us out and of course down comes the dark ruler no more and here comes stratos to start off the turn heroes number one big starter i don't know y'all let me know what y'all think is a better starter stratos or fusion destiny i don't know they're both really good so yeah he goes ahead and gets that boy shadow man so of course you can read the ferris here and down comes the ferris and unfortunately for my opponent you know i was just talking about this in the post that i had you know we run like three fusion destinies three hero lives and all this stuff but you always draw the one of increase so yeah he drew that one increase which is why you don't see ferris's effect getting activated here he's gonna go ahead and grab that boy adjusted goal discard him to go get that dark calling so we're about to see the boy um what's his name malicious bane come down here there goes the dark calling banishing the ferris and the adjusted goal to go ahead and bring out the malicious bane and we're going to see a board wipe here because babuska is negated and malicious can just destroy him so he's gonna destroy him and then pretty much proceed into the end phase here you know i can't take any damage so there's no point in attacking though i wish he would just for funsies so i can summon my spirit of neos <laughs> but no nah, he goes ahead and sets a back row you know in my mind i'm like ah it's super poly hopefully it's not super poly but we'll end up just going from here i think i drew emergency call for the turn i do believe and i have spirit of neos in my hand i have honest neos in my hand but it's like right now i'm trying to figure out how to 
how to um, get take care of the Mali. The um, what's his name? Yeah, how to get rid of the malicious bane on board here? Because my only options are pretty much number the big eye or to go into um, Zeus. So we're gonna go ahead summon the liquid soldier here. We're going to Stratos to destroy the back row, just in case. I'm just like, if he's got the super poly, I'd rather just go ahead and see it now. And our the mass change, go ahead and just see it now. So we're going to decide on what's the best option here. Like, I really know, I pretty much know at this point, I have to make Zeus in order to get the Mali, the malicious bane off the board. So... I figure that, um, what's his name? Abyss Dweller. I'm trying to decide whether Abyss Dweller or Time Thief Redoer was actually like the way to go, which, you know, after thinking about it this match, I probably should have threw away the, um, the Time Thief Redoer because Abyss Dweller is actually like good against Denier and Mally and stuff if he ever reached that point. So we're going to attack over the Stratos because we're at 2200 because of the Liquid Soldier. Just remember that does make a difference. Him being a water, you know, puts him at 22 and it will allow you to get out of some situations that you might not normally be able to get out of. We're going to go ahead and use Zeus Effect to go ahead and pop the, to not pop, but to send the Mally. So I keep calling him Mally, but to send the malicious band, we're going to use the emergency call to go and grab the solid soldier. And then kind of like at this point, I was kind of thinking inside of my head, maybe it would have been have better to set the emergency call and wait it just in case he does end up, you know, destroying it with Stratos or doing something like that. That way I could put another material up under my Zeus. But we're going to go ahead and set the mass change here instead. I figure like if he was going to do it, then, you know, this will still go ahead and get that bait out. So, you know, he's got three cars in hand. I know one of them is the increase. So we're just waiting to see what he drew. And unfortunately, it's another Ferris. He's going to discard the increase and in pass turn here just so that he can have a monster on board. And pretty much when you have um, when your opponent's board is like this and you have solid soldier and mass change, it's pretty much game. I was checking to make sure that I could special summon solid soldier with solid soldier. We're going to go ahead and mass change off the solid soldier here to bring out Dean. And then we're going to activate Solid Soldier's Effect and Grave to Special Summon out Stratos. We're going to use Stratos' Effect to add a hero from our deck to our hand, which, you know, there's pretty much not any other options here. But to grab, you know, either Shadow Mist or Stratos, we're going to go ahead and grab the other Stratos. We're going to attack with Dean into the Ferris. Activate Dean's effect to special summon out the Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist effect to grab Mass Change. And here, I think we ended up with his life points are at 7,600. And I believe we put 7,700 up on the board. So, you know, it's just like 100 over lethal, enough to finish him and bring an end to this mirror match. So, you know, unfortunately, he has some bad draws and, you know, especially drawing that increase after he had the Dark Ruler. It just seemed like he would have really been able to set up a good board there, you know. But, hey, it happens when you run heroes, you know. It's just one of those things you got to come to expect and live with. So... Uh, that was my match, my hero matchup, hero mirror match right there. And I want to say appreciate you to everybody who stayed a while to listen. And I will catch y'all on the next video. Ain't nobody messing with the mask hero king of games. Mask off, now you see that a hero lives. I pay half and you ask, but I'm winning games. There ain't another hero that surpasses me.